Hello and welcome to this session where we will demonstrate the integration capabilities of Covair Omnibus between Atlassian Jira and HPQC. This demo is to showcase rich text transformation between the tools Jira and QC. To start with, we all know that Jira natively supports rich text by implementing Confluence Wiki format. On the other hand, HPQC supports rich text by implementing basic HTML. This demo will showcase how rich text data added in HPQC gets converted to Confluence Wiki in Jira and vice versa. This is a tailor-made solution where basic rich text features like bold, underline, italics, colored text and HTML tables are interconverted. In cases where Omnibus is transforming text between adapters that offer different levels of rich text support, some loss of formatting may occur, though Omnibus will always try to maintain as much of the formatting as the target connector allows. The text content will always be maintained regardless of the differences in formatting. So to get started, let us first log into QC. So over here, we will add a defect from QC along with some rich text values in description. So let's click on new defect. And let's say we give a summary like QC. Defect. for RTF test. So let's say we select project and make it bold. Similarly, let's make this word it in italics. Let us underline this registered word and do some other formatting as well. So let's color it so we have used this color so we have copied actually a list and bullet it now let's insert a table in this description so we define the rows and columns of the table. So we have inserted a two row, two column table. So let us insert some text within this table. So we format the content of the table as well. So and insert it into the table. I'll again format some part of it. So using the bold. Now putting filling up the description part and again using some formatting. So let's use some coloring as well. And now that we have got a completely comprehensive description, so we'll just save this defect from QC. So let's close it. So here is the defect along with the description. This is the description that we have entered in QC. So now that we have entered the defect from QC, what we will do is we will straight away go to Jira and see that the defect along with this description in the same format has been transferred into Jira. So let us go to Jira. Okay, so we are already logged in. So let's just refresh. Then the list, this is the third HLD 31. This is the issue that we had entered from QC. So clicking on this, now we get to see the description of this particular defect and uh, as you can see that the bold part 
the underlined part and going back to QC again we can see that registered was underlined and let's the red color in project name and everything and let's just switch back to Jira once and we can see that everything is exactly the same over in Jira as well so the description along with the keeping the complete format same has been transferred to Jira so now what we will do is that we will just make slight modifications from Jira into this formatted text and see whether that gets reflected back from QC. So let's edit this description and change certain portions of this text. So now we have to do this in the Confluence Wiki format. So uh, putting an asterisk before and after this word so that it makes it bold. So using the conventions that we need to do in Jira to convert it into rich text. So once we complete that, we'll just preview it once so that we know that what exactly is the formatting that we have done. So once we are done, let's just preview this text. So we can see that the same is underlined and this case you need is in italics and this is the changes that we have made from Jira. So let's just click on save and once we do that the same changes should be reflected back in QC. And refresh the list of QC defects and see whether the modification in the description has been reflected over here or not. So as we can see that you need to has been italic format now and uh, sometimes has been made bold as we had done the changes in Jira. So all the changes that we did from Jira are now getting reflected from QC as well. So now what we will do is we will add a comment from uh, QC and using the same rich text format that we use for description. So the logged in user is entering a comment and we are formatting this text as well. So making it italics and also changing its color. So the color has been changed and is made in the italics format. So now we'll save this and go back to Jira to see that the comment added from QC is reflected in Jira as well. So let us now go to Jira and see whether the comment gets reflected from Jira. So just clicking on the record so that it gets refreshed and we can see that the comment has been added. So the comment along with the formatting that is italics and red has been added in Jira. So we will enter another comment from Jira and see that whether that gets thrown back to QC as well. So let's say we enter a comment like comment from Jira. enter some formatting into the text so once we are done with the formatting we save it and the table structure has been saved in the Jira comment so now the comment has been added so now we'll again go back to QC and see whether this comment gets shown from QC. HPQC and we refresh the list. So you can see that the new comment has been added from Jira and along with the table structure that we had added from Jira. So the exact formatting is maintained in the comments as well as we had seen in the description part as well. So this brings us to the end of the presentation and if you, if you have any queries, you can always contact us at sales at the rate of Thank you.